What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. Today, I want to discuss this Saturday's UFC 303's co-main event. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. Help the channel grow. All right, guys, getting right into it. We got Brian Ortega taking on Diego Lopez on short notice in a fucking awesome fight, right? I mean, this is something I, de I definitely did not expect. You got Brian Ortega coming off of his exhilarating comeback finish victory over Yaya Rodriguez where it was back and forth. I mean, he just was getting pieced the fuck up. And then when the third round, he was just able to get the fight to the ground and get the submission victory over Yaya. And it was just a phenomenal comeback, right? Especially after their first fight where he had the shoulder injury that just set him back. I mean, and the story of Brian Ortega, I mean, the definition of him lately is just inactivity. Since his loss to Max Holloway back in 2018, he has fought only four times. And... Looked good. You know, he had the dominating victory over Korean Zombie. He had the exhilarating losing bat bout to Alexander Volkanovsky. And then he had the two fights with Yaya Rodriguez. Sorry, guys. Gotta get the charger here. Um, so, Brian, I mean, he's still super high level. It's just the fact that he's just been rather inactive. Jeez, Louise. Sorry, guys. <sighs> My God. It's just the fact that he's just been rather inactive, you know. And, you know, inactivity health issues, the whole nine yards. Why is this not fucking working? There we go. All those things. Sorry, guys. But the guy's a finisher. He's a fighter. He's a dog. He's a gamer. He finds a way to get the victory, right? He's dangerous at all times. And I think, you know, against a guy like Diego Lopez, though, too, right? Who just burst onto the scene. He has looked damn near unstoppable. I mean, he's got a lot of fights under his belt. He's already got 30 fights at 20, what, nine years old. Three straight victories within the UFC. I mean, he's gone three and one. He had the UFC debut over Mofsar Ivalev, where, I mean, he just had just a back and forth victory where he really just showed Mofsar that he was a real first game opponent for him. He was a real first guy to give Ivalev a real, like, run for his money. I mean, since then, the guy has completely ducked Lopez since that fight for a rematch as well. But nonetheless, Diego Lopez has rattled off three straight victories over guys like Gavin Tucker, Pat Sabatini, and most recently Sadiq Yusuf. I mean, all first round, about a minute and a half, almost at the exact same time. A minute 38 seconds, a minute 30 seconds, a minute 29 seconds. The guy goes out there and gets the job done quick, right? And against a guy like Brian Ortega, who sometimes takes, who, who needs a little bit to get going, right? And Diego Lopez can be that dance partner to kind of punch him in the face to wake him up a little bit, but... That's where things can be interesting. It's gonna, you know, I'm not sure if it's five rounds. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be three rounds, and I think they're at lightweight. So I'm not. I'm pretty sure it's at a catchweight and lightweight, if I'm not mistaken. I know Brian Ortega said that he intends to move up anyways, regardless of the fact. But in this fight, man, like I just think that Diego's explosive athleticism will definitely, you know, especially on the feet. I think that he has the edge over Ortega. I think that the way that he starts out hot will definitely give him an advantage. He could definitely, you know, strike while the iron is hot. Catch Ortega while he's still cold. And on the ground, Diego Lopez is no fucking slouch. Has a bunch of submissions himself. I mean, 12 wins by submission for Diego Lopez. So, I mean, he definitely has <clears throat> a path to victory on the ground as well. But for Brian Ortega, his biggest attributes is just that he's game. He's a dog. He just... Grit, will, determination. That fight against Alexander Volkanovsky is the perfect aspect. I mean, it's the perfect example. After just getting his ass kicked for a majority of the fight, but still finding ways to be dangerous, throwing out slick submissions and guillotines, putting his opponent in danger, almost sleeping Volkanovsky. So Brian definitely has that, just that it factor, that finish factor. He is a fighter, right? But you could say the exact same thing about Diego Lopez, and that's why I love this fight so much. I'm a fan of Brian. I'm a fan of Diego. So really, I'm not really picking a winner. But I think that Diego, what I will say, I think Diego has more tools in his belt than Brian does. But I think Brian, he's got that spirit. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. What you guys think of this co-main event. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. That's going to do it for today, guys. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans.